So tell me, um, do you think compared to where when you came into the program to where you are now, did we live up to your expectations? Super excited and oh, I'm getting all these calls, yay! And do you believe that uh, with uh, what you got on the website and that, and what we've been through? that you've gotten the tools to succeed so far? Do you like the training? I like the training. The training is pretty straightforward. Um, when I go through the training materials, and I still go back to the training materials, and, and that's one thing I really like is that it's always there, and I can always reference it back, um, even just refreshers. I mean, I've got pages and pages of notes I took off of the training materials, but I'll still go back and watch the videos and um, do that kind of thing here and there. I know that I'm your coach, so it's kind of a loaded question. Do you believe that your coach is, that you're getting out of your coach what you need? I like that you challenge me because I think for me, like it's easy for, like I, the easy part of me would be like, can't I just have somebody that will just tell me do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I can follow directions. Like I can follow directions like nobody's business, but I don't, this isn't something like there's going to be a point where I need to figure these things, these problems and these things out. And like you said, I need to know how to handle these, these issues that come up. And so I like, I like the fact that I'm being forced to be challenged, even though my natural tendency is not to like the challenge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, do. I do because I got the same thing in the beginning. Uh, my coach was phenomenal that way and pushed me to step outside of my comfort zone. Um, I, I can sense a lot of apprehension, so I've tried to push you from grabbing on, grabbing on because I want you to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone. Is there more that you're wanting? I mean, is there more training or something that you're looking for? Um, I just, I guess it's just, it's not something specific, like, you know, like I say, I understand stuff as I watch it, or, you know, even as we talk, I understand stuff. Uh, what do you think of, of our leaves? I mean, could you succeed without them? Would you, would you get your phone to ring without them? At this point, no, no, because I wouldn't even, at this point, I wouldn't even know where to go, you know? Um, I've gotten a couple of, a book I'm reading right now, you know, they talk about driving in the car and looking for properties or going down to the, um, county assessor's office and things like that. And I, I mean, I guess you could do that, but that sounds like that would take a lot of time to me, you know? So. Yeah. Hours and hours of work. Okay. Uh, what I want to challenge you with is goals. Okay. So you got into this with the dream of being on your own, 100%. Yes. And I think, I know that through this, we want, we need to figure out where your goal is. I think we've got a great direction. The goal is to make money, right? Heck yeah. Yeah. But there's a tighter goal or a tighter vision that I need you to find. Okay. For example, my goal is to do three to five flips a year. I want to do uh, between 160 and 200,000 a year in wholesaling. Okay. Uh, which transposes or works out to be a certain amount of deals a month, a certain amount of letters a month, a certain amount of deals a month, a certain amount of sales a month it works out. It averages out, but my goal is there. Mm -hmm. but I also have a goal of where I want to be in the future. And my coach always says, if, if what you're doing today does not get you to the goal you're headed for, why are you doing it? That makes sense. So uh, without vision, I mean, it's just a, it's just a dream. It's a fantasy. Mm -hmm. so I need to put vision in place. What I want from you is a one-year, five-year, and a ten-year goal. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So 
you know, I'm I'm an avid bow and arrow shooter. I, I hunt, I uh, target shoot all the time. You, know, you don't focus on the center of the target. You'll never hit the center of the target. Right now, we have a big white target. Mm -hmm. And I want you to start putting rings on. Okay. And the farther away that we move that ring or that target, the more precise that goal needs to be. So we really need to put a vision in place. The hardest thing is to put that vision in place. If you don't shoot for that target, you'll never hit it. Mm -hmm. And people that, people without goals work for people that have goals. And my goal is for you to have goals and to work them every single day. Work okay. Work them every single day. Um, the statistics on them are ridiculous. And I don't care how good a training I have. I don't care how good a lead I have. I don't care how good a coach I am. If you don't have a vision or a goal, we're not going to succeed. Yeah, I agree. 